Party on location today somewhere in northwestern Minnesota with Trooper State Trooper Jeffrey Patnode. Our topic today is distracted driving and the current awareness campaign. So I'm going to put on my seatbelt. I'm in the passenger side and State Trooper Patnode, of course, driving the vehicle today. And we're going to hit the roads in northwest Minnesota. So Trooper Patnode, as you're as you're driving uh, down the highway. What is it that you look for? Because this has to be a particularly difficult state law to enforce. It, it can be. Um, I look for what the vehicle is doing. I watch for what the driver is doing, what, what, where their hands are. I mean, in certain situations you can't see, but there's many times where you're driving down the road and, and you can blatantly see that the cell person's cell phone is right up on the hand, on the wheel. Um, you know, different, different things like that. That's what we look for. Um, but first of all, I mean, we always have the vehicles coming towards us, so that that's what I'm I'm focused on at the at the moment when they're coming at me. And I guess people should understand that conversation itself is not a distraction, right? Right. Okay. So we're talking about cell phone use, particularly. Uh, did you see anything there? No. Okay. Cell phone use, but there are other things too that can distract a driver seriously in the vehicle. Any other electronic. Device. Yep, it's not just a cell phone. I mean, I've, I've seen people before with iPads, you know, I mean, that's in certain situations. It is, we've had people reading the paper going down the road, uh, reading books. I mean, it, the, it's not just the cell phone. I mean, that's one part of the statute uh, for the texting part of it. But there are just different distractions that can be associated and, and you can be stopped for. The worst you've ever seen? The worst incident you've ever seen? Uh, I mean, I, I had an incident where an individual uh, was texting. It was ended up being a, uh, an injury crash that I, I came upon, you know. And right away as I approached the scene, from what I gathered from the information that I, I'd seen, I could tell something was off with, with the way the, the vehicle went into the ditch and it, the vehicle rolled talking to the individual at the hospital and asking some questions. I, I just, from what they were telling me, wasn't wasn't making sense and adding up. And then I just come out and asked that individual, were you on your phone? And that individual said, yeah, I was on my phone. So people are pretty straightforward and honest about it. Sometimes. The majority of the people, yeah. You know, there are times where I think they feel that by, by lying to us, that we don't know or we're not going to find out um, but at the end result it's you know more, majority of the time people are honest with you and, and do finally say yep yeah, I was texting. So key to the city this morning on the road in northwest Minnesota with state trooper Jeffrey Padnode and um, just a reminder about the dangers of distracted driving, um, some of the rules and regulations that guide distracted driving here in Northwest Minnesota. And um, true for Pat Note, it has been wonderful to be with you this morning. Thanks so much for the time that you've given us. And of course, this is, I, I wanted to say too, um, we are in an unmarked vehicle. It looks just like your family van, even though the inside of the vehicle is highly technical. Um, a lot of tools here for the State Patrol to do the job that they have to do to keep all of us safe on the roads. Um, on the road in northwestern Minnesota, key to the city, I'm Key Teeters.